Pharmacogenetics is an emerging area of clinical medicine focused on understanding how genes might affect individual responses to treatment. The VA is studying how this area of clinical medicine might apply to mental health care. How might pharmacogenetics improve your health outcomes? The human body is made up of trillions of cells. Each cell normally contains 23 pairs of chromosomes for a total of 46. One half of these chromosomes come from each of our biological parents. Each chromosome, in turn, contains hundreds to thousands of genes, which are made up of DNA. That adds up to more than 21,000 genes that we inherit. The genes you have inherited from your parents make up the genetic profile that is unique to you alone. Genes are the basic building blocks of all life. Your genetic profile determines everything from the color of your eyes to how your brain functions. This includes how your body will respond to the medicines you take and whether you will have side effects. Some medicines could work better with your unique genetic profile, and some medicines might not work at all for you. Genes determine how fast your body breaks down or metabolizes medicine, and how fast that medicine gets into your bloodstream. Some other genes influence the side effects of medicine, each person's reaction to medicine is unique. If your doctor knows your genetic profile, he or she may be able to determine if a particular medicine is a good match for you. Doctors have prescribed antidepressants for more than 50 years without this information. Patients and doctors have to use trial and error to find the best medication. Now, pharmacogenetic testing is becoming more widely available. This raises the question, is it possible for doctors to make better treatment choices if they know their patients' genetic profiles in advance? There is strong scientific evidence for the use of pharmacogenetics testing in some forms of cancer treatment. Scientists are now beginning to study whether pharmacogenetics can be helpful for other diseases such as depression.